Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to try and solve a problem which pops up on later versions of macOS. So this is on Big Sur and on Monterey, which I only upgraded to fairly recently because I'm one of those people. Anyway, the problem you have is that some plugins are not signed and therefore are not approved by effectively by Apple. It's a little more complicated than that, but that that's the deal. So the plugin which I use in my book and which I think is a useful one for learning how to program subtractive synthesizers is also cross-platform and also is a nice retro piece of kit is the PG-8X. However, if you try and load it up, you may well find this. Okay, so you see we said PG-8X VST cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Okay, so if you click Show and Finder, it will take you to where it is. It will load it up, but it won't load it up. So we get a track, but you can see we haven't actually got the instrument in here. And it will find it in the finder. So here we can see, here's the PGA tech. So this is the offending plugin. Now, I'll show you the way that I've made this work. This is a bit of a pain, okay? So the, the common thing with the Mac is you go to System Preferences, and then you go to Security and Privacy, and on one of the tabs, when we eventually get there, we can see it's blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. Now, if you click open anyway, what I found is I click open anyway, nothing happens. And I think this is because Cubase has given up. I'm not sure. That may not be the technical term. But anyway, I haven't found this. I can click this till I'm blue in the face. It doesn't seem to get it to work. So what I found does work is to quit Cubase completely. So I'm just going to quit, not save that. Um, you can see it's, this isn't doing anything. Now, what I found did work for me is I go to the plugin in question, two finger tap, stroke right click, go to open with, and then go to other. And then we go to the applications folder. Now, here it will say enable recommended applications. You need to change it to all applications. And then find the version of Cubase that you want to open it up with. We get the ironic thing. It's not known whether it can open this, but it, hopefully it can. So you click open. Get a bit of a delay. And now, with a bit of luck, create another empty project. I'm just going to put it in here because it doesn't really matter. Now try again. And this time we get a different message. So something seems to have been changed in macOS's behavior. So now we can click open. And there we go. So now it's been marked as okay. That's the route that I found to do it. You can do it for different VST2 plugins. Obviously, you do need to be careful that you are opening up a legitimate plugin. You're not ending up mining cryptocurrency for somebody in a land far, far away. But that's worked for me for the plugins that I need and need to get them up and running. It seems you need to do it per user. So I have a different user on this Mac. I needed to do the same things for the PGA techs and other things. But that's worked for me. There may be other routes to do it. If they're more efficient ones, let me know in the comments. But that's the way that's uh, worked for me on this. So as ever, hope you found this useful. And if you have, uh, we'll see you again soon for some more music situation.